Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. It's another one of my basic part design exercises, a simple rod. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at that drawing. Here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step, if you want. So, let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the Y set plane. I need two rectangles, one, two, and these should be symmetric to that axis, this one as well. Then let's add some dimensions. This should be 20 B 80 that distance should be 45 and this distance should be 17.5 and that one here should be 80. And let's move this here and go for a trim. So type T for trim. And this should be removed like that. Okay. I want to add a point just in case. So go for a point. Put it right onto that line and add a dimension. And this should be 15 millimeter. Finish that sketch. And let's make an extrude and make it symmetric and make it 80 millimeters. So let's go for symmetric. And I want to go for 80 millimeters and confirm. Okay, let's show that sketch and I want to have a hole and two fillets. So go for a fillet on this edge and that edge and those two should be 50 millimeter. Then go for the hole, select the face and then use as reference that point so just move it over here and i want to go through all and the diameter should be 12 millimeter and confirm i could go for a circular pattern or for a mirror i want to go for a mirror let's hide that sketch Go to create, go to mirror, there you go. I want to mirror body, yes, that body. And the mirror plane would be the XZ plane. And I need a new body and confirm. Now I can move that second body. So go to move, select that body. Go for rotate. The axis would be the x axis in this case. Nope, the y axis. And I want to rotate it 90 degrees. Nice, let's join those two that's the target this is the tool and i don't want to keep the tool and confirm now i need a sketch on the x set plane this should be a polygon a hexagon Center would be right here. 
maybe like that. Now this line should be aligned horizontal. And I need a dimension between those two lines. And that dimension should be 50. Finish that sketch. Or I could have added a point just in case we can use it afterwards. That would sit right here. Now finish that sketch. Make an extrude. Make it symmetric. Go for complete 140 millimeter. And I don't want to cut, I want to intersect it. And confirm, which gives me my base body here. So in order to make that hole, I need a plane. So let's go for construct, go for an offset plane. And the plane which should be offset is the Y set plane. This one here. And the distance might be 30. Then I need a point, so I go for a sketch on that plane here, on this one. And there should be a point. Just a point, there you go, right there. Finish that sketch. Show that plane. Now I want to make a hole, and I want to use that point here. I need a counterboard one. I could go for up to a plane to the YZ plane. That's okay. I need a counterboard one. And this should be 16. That should be 30. And this should be 30 minus 17, that would be 13. And confirm. Nice. Let's mirror that. So go for mirror. I want to mirror a feature. I want to mirror that feature here, that hole. And the mirror plane would be, of course, the Y set plane like this. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.